After a long day at school or work, nothing beats a hearty laugh. There are no limitations to what can happen in anime that may have you bursting out in laughter, making you spit out your milk through your nose or peeing in your pants. Hopefully none of those events took place in front of others. With so many great comedy anime out there, how do you even stop and pick out only 10? Well, I definitely tried. Hello guys, it's Animan here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 best comedy anime ever. Before we begin, I wanted to share something with you that I'm pretty excited about. I know you guys watch my channel because you probably like watching videos about anime. And you guys all know I love making videos on this channel. One of the biggest joys in life is making videos that you guys love. Sometimes, I do something really interesting besides making YouTube videos. I make stories. That's right guys, I make anime stories. So I was pretty excited when I found out about Amino App. It's actually a network of communities that lets you discover and obsess over the things you're into. Each Amino community has great content, the friendliest of people, and exciting events. You can chat with people across the world, watch videos together, read blogs, and share your favorites too. And the best thing about this is stories. And I watched some of the stories and it felt really different than anything else. They were just as fun and quick, and I've been non-stop watching stories. Then Amino reached out to me, and I decided to join in on the fun. So I've actually partnered with Amino to create some of my very own stories. I really like the format, and I think you guys will too. So if it's something you like, I will continue publishing stories over there consistently. Click the link in the description or pinned YouTube comment, or search for Amino apps to download Amino. To find my profile and stories, go to the search option. Then go to the users. Search the name AnimanYT there. There you will find my account. Make sure to follow me and click the bell to know when I'm posting new videos. Just like YouTube, every time you watch my videos, you'll be supporting me. So if you like my videos, this is a simple, free way to keep me creating. We can do so many things there, including watching anime together. So make sure you guys follow me there. Alright, back to the video. Number 10, Daily Lives of High School Boys. High school and anime go together like butter and bread. Centering on the antics of three friends attending Sonata North High School, the anime celebrates adolescence by playing around with the nothingness that tends to pervade a teenager's life, with the exception of a couple of surreal moments. These are not self-aware adults masquerading as teenagers. No, these are the type of people who pick up a stick to reenact an intense RPG battle, or try on their sister's underwear, for no real reason. While the title suggests the focus is on the boys, Sunrise's anime boasts an extensive cast and is more of an ensemble comedy. In this anime, there are a few jokes you can see coming, but a rarer few that miss the comedy mark. Number 9, Baka and Test. This is one of the funniest series I've seen. It's filled with a lot of cliché characters who express their idiotic romances in the most hilarious ways. The series centers around the Baka character of the title, Akihisa Yoshi. At Akihisa's academy, they divide the students into classes based on their test scores. You have the prodigies in A class who have reclining seats with air conditioning. God, I am so jealous. And then you have Akihisa in F class, the lowest class in the school with the lowest quality of supplies and equipment. Not only that, the school has conducted experiments to summon weird creatures, with Akihisa rallying F class to take over the perks of the higher classes by using the summoned creatures in an all out battle. Number 8. Good luck, girl. What is the anime you would spend your 23 minutes on per episode that will make your abs sore from laughing so hard? The answer is Good Luck Girl. Everything about this show is great. The mild fan service, 
The comedy, the characters, and the MC's development, Ichigo is a rich, beautiful Mary Sue of a teenage girl who is adored by all of the boys of her class, but hated by the females. In short, she's pretty much the stereotypical bitch. She also has an excessive amount of fortune, which causes her to suck other fortune energy from those around her. This causes Momiji, a god of misfortune, to try and steal Ichigo's fortune, and a beautiful love-hate relationship is formed. The show's painfully self-aware shtick makes it even funnier to watch. You won't regret watching it for its over-the-top antics and its hilarious characters. Number 7. Barakamon. This anime shows that you don't need aliens, magical powers, and love triangles in order to create an exciting anime. Saishu Honda possesses all the required tools to sit among Japan's greatest calligraphers. The only thing standing in his way is a lack of maturity and a willingness to fly off the handle at any given moment. Desperate to instill some self-awareness, Saishu's father exiles the up-and-coming artist to the Goto Islands. Initially, Saishu sees this as an opportunity to distance himself from the insanity of Tokyo and discover some peace. Sounds like a decent plan that might have worked. But, the residents of Goto Island refuse to leave Saishu alone. Whether dealing with rambunctious children or intrusive old men, the calligrapher is the talk of the town. This anime was amazing to watch and it really fit the genre of a summer anime. Number 6. Hina Festival one random night, a Yakuza member named Nita is suddenly struck in the head by a metal object with the face of a girl on it. After opening the box, a psychic called Hina comes out and decides to start living with Nita. While the two have their ups and downs, things take a turn for the worse when other psychics start to show up to capture Hina. For me, it is hilarious to see the different ways they handle certain situations. While not a psychic, Hitomi Mishima's journey from an unassuming middle school student to businesswoman might just be the funniest thing in the whole series. Number 5. Detroit Metal City Dominating the world of music, Detroit Metal City is a popular death metal band known for its captivatingly dark and crude style. Its extravagant lead singer, Johannes Crozer II, is especially infamous as a demonic being who has risen from the fiery pits of hell itself in order to bring the world to its knees and rule over all mortals. Or, at least, that's what he publicized to be. After the music fades and everyone returns home, Crosser sheds his makeup to reveal an ordinary college graduate named Soichi Nagishi. Despite spending most of his time singing lyrics capable of making the devil flinch, Soichi is a gentle soul who prefers to listen to pop music rather than death metal. Due to a rather overzealous records manager and the fact that bills need to be paid, Soichi joined Detroit Metal City, but dreams of the day when he could abandon this world. Detroit Metal City is insanity in anime form. The songs tackle some truly wicked topics, but the series struck comedy gold. Number 4. Gentama. The Amanto reign supreme over feudal Japan and have outlawed swords, putting an end to the samurai way. However, Sakata Gentoki refuses to relinquish the way of the samurai. Gentoki works with Shimura Shinpachi, a maganeko with passion, and Kagura, a bottomless pit for a stomach, and together they do odd jobs to make ends meet. Gintama is an anime unlike any other. The most ridiculous things happen and most of the jokes will catch you completely off guard. Some episodes may make you question Gintama's placement on our list, but when the comedic moments happen, you will literally be on the floor laughing hysterically. Every single one of the characters makes Gintama to be the supreme comedy anime king. Number 3. Asobi Asobase Asobi Asobase is a school comedy series centering around the members of the Pastimers Club an unofficial school group with the ambiguous premise of discussing and participating in different pastimes from around the world. 
This three-piece act consists of the energetic and neurotic rich girl, Hanako Honda, reserved but often quietly intense secret Fujoshi Kazumi Nomura, and happy-go-lucky blonde American Olivia, who pretends to be a foreign exchange student with poor Japanese ability, but was actually born and raised in Japan by foreign parents and can barely speak any English. As you would expect for a school comedy series, first and foremost, Asobi Asobase has a strong set of gags to get you laughing. <laughs> Number 2. Grand Blue College life is a bit different from high school. For those who don't know, it's like venturing into a society where some people live by the rules, and others make them. Iori Kitahara moves to the coastal town of Izu for his freshman year at its university taking residence above Grand Blue, his uncle's scuba diving shop. Iori has high hopes and dreams about having the ideal college experience, but when he enters the shop, he is sucked into the alcoholic activities of the carefree members of the diving club who frequent the place. To me, Grand Blue came as a show that explored a carefree life while mixing in adult humor, diving elements, and drinking shenanigans. It's one of those shows that is hard to not laugh your ass off once you realized what you were in for. And number one, Konosuba. After one of the funniest death scenes in anime history, the self-centered goddess Aqua offers Kazuma Sato the chance to restart life in a world similar to an RPG. Allowed to take a single item with him and angered over being mocked by the obnoxious deity, Kazuma picks Aqua as his companion. In hindsight, he probably should have gone with something more useful. Konosuba surrounds the protagonist with waifus who are not worth the trouble. When it comes to Kamita character, Kazuma is an absolute pro. This anime is really fun and it has very unique charm to it. For all you comedy anime fans out there, how do you like the list? Any comedy anime you want to add? Share your thoughts, guys. If you enjoy the video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next 